Ki this morning. Let's talk about all of the cues that you should track before we get into this trading session. We have our research team here with the trade setup. Nigel, Ekta and Vivek are all here to prep you up for this trading session. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. And Ekta, let me come across to you first. We were just going through the global picture right now. For our own markets, it was an absolutely flat close. But take us for everything we should watch. Thanks for that. Well, the one thing that stood out in yesterday's trading session is that the markets did snap their three-day losing streak. FII's were sellers for the fourth consecutive day. So, for example, Monday, the FII's net sold over 500-odd crores. They topped it up with Tuesday at over 800 crores in terms of a sell figure. Wednesday, they sold around 13-odd crores. And yesterday, they net sold around 1,169 crores, which was the largest that we've seen this entire week. DII's net bought over 800 odd crores. Now, what could stand out in today's trading session could be the IT stocks, considering the you know uh, considering the negative sentiment post TCS, especially emphasis numbers. Now, remember that Mass Tech gained yesterday on the back of their Q4 numbers. HCL Tech was largely in line with estimates. Signed reported a strong set as well with FI24 guidance in line. So maybe on the fringe that would bode well for the IT sector in today's trading session, especially for stocks that still haven't reported numbers. Now, in terms of the global setup, the US markets have fallen on concerns about profits uh, in this earnings season. So there was a disappointment from the likes of AT&T as well as American Express yesterday. Jobless claims have come in at around 2.45 thousand uh, versus an expectation versus two, uh, 2,000 uh, 200, uh, 2.4 lakh on a week on week basis. Asia largely in the red. Crude oil prices have declined. In fact, it is the lowest in about three weeks. So that's definitely a positive for us. SGS is indicating that maybe it could be a positive start. Also, watch out for the Bank Nifty as well as the broader markets outperforming. On a month to date basis, the mid cap index is up around 4 odd percent, the Nifty Bank is up around 4 odd percent. Result reactions we have ICICI, Pru, Sterling, and Wilson. And in terms of results today, the big boy Reliance Industries, which the street will be watching out for, Hindustan Zinc as well, and ICICI Bank tomorrow. So we will have Monday, which will be important in terms of a lot of result cues. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be a heavy Monday for all of us after, all, you know, this entire slew of earnings comes through. Ikta, thanks for that. But let's talk about the stocks that could be in focus in today's trading session as well. Vivek has that entire list. Vivek, like Ikta was pointing out as well, it is likely once again to be a lot about the tech names. Absolutely right. You know, good morning. Uh, quite a lot of results that came in post-market us yesterday. First on our list is HCL Tech. Now, unlike its larger peers, HCL Tech has not had any negative surprises, which is actually being seen as quite positive in this environment. On a sequential basis, dollar revenue is down almost 0.3%, EBIT margin coming in at 18.2%, and profitability was down 2.7%, largely in line with the anticipated expectations. Now, FY24 guidance is on the higher side, and this is something that the street is taking quite positively. Consolidated revenue seen higher by close to 6 to 8% for FY24. Now, coming on to science, it's been a very good set of numbers from the company this time around. Dollar revenues up almost 8.1%, EBIT margin coming in at 14.2% and profitability up almost 4.6%. Now, FY24 guidance is largely in line with what the street was anticipating. CC revenue growth seen at 15 to 20%. Coming to ICICI Prudential Life, you know, it's been a very good set of numbers with the company managing to achieve its stated targets of doubling its VNB revenue and FY19 VNB revenue uh, doubling was what the company had earlier guided to. Coming to Sterling and Wilson, uh, you know, renewable energy, slightly muted set of numbers from the company this time around. A bottom line loss of close to 417 crore. Uh, however, you know, the order book is quite strong. Unexecuted EPC order book had close to 4,913 crore. Lastly, watch out for both Siemens as well as RVNL. The consortium of both of these companies has received a couple of orders from the Gujarat Mail Retro. The back of that except some green on these stocks here as well. All right, that is a long list of stocks. Vivek, thanks a lot for that. And of course, our reliance will fare ahead of its results, right? We're all watching that as well. Uh, but with that, Nigel, it's over to you. Take us through everything that you're tracking from the futures and options space. Well, morning, Pavitra. Yesterday was a quiet session as ever, right? And even in the FNO market, if you look at the Nifty uh, open interest, well, they didn't add too much. The premium on the Nifty, well, it's holding at around that uh, 30 points odd. And the Nifty Bank, well, that did see, send some bit of buying out there. So let's see how that goes, because ICICI Bank is going to be the crucial factor. Remember, it comes out with a set of numbers tomorrow, and that has the ability to move the Nifty Bank around. 
The FIs in the FNO market, well, they added some long positions and they covered some mild shots. And their positioning now is at around 38% long positioning, which is more or less constant in that vicinity of around 35 to around 38% is what we have seen in the last few sessions. Moving to the options data, I remember yesterday you had the weekly expiry that did play out. And it was as boring as ever because in the final hour of trade as well, you didn't really get that 3 p.m. move. We were in that range of around 30, 20, 30 points or, or thereabouts. But then it appears there's a short straddle at play. What's that? You write the 17,700 call, 17,700 put. And you pocket a premium of both of them. So you add both of them. On an average, you would be getting close to around 200 rupees or thereabouts. So that appears to be the strategy that's playing out. Let's just uh, get a little bit deeper into, uh, you know, the short straddle. It appears the call writers, they have more confidence. The total open interest, so there is closer around the crow shares odd. 17,700 put as well, that has a fair bit of open interest, but appears confidence is a little bit lower on that side. So bringing you to the range then, if you're looking at the short straddle, you're making close to around 200 rupees, you're pocketing that, 17,700, you add 200 rupees and you deduct 200 rupees from there. So you get the broad range of around 17,500 to around that 17,900 uh, odd mark. The SGX Nifty though is indicating a bit of a green start. That's the broad range we're looking at. For the day, you should get the range up for you on the screen. 17,550 on the downside. Risk reward has favored you if you buy around there. And on the upside, around 17,700, that's where we're seeing some resistance. So let's see whether or not we can get past that. Back to you. All right, let's see whether we can get past that or not. Nigel, thanks a lot for taking us through all of those cues. But with that, it is time for our first short break on the show. When we come back, it is all about earnings. We are going to bring you the highlights of HCL Tech's fourth quarter earnings and also tell you what to expect from big boy Reliance Industries today. Stay tuned.